Welcome to the Book of Mormon Scripture Challenge. Today, let's look at Abraham and Isaac. The story of Abraham can teach us so much. We have seen in the last two videos how Abraham's story shows the coming of Messiah. And it doesn't stop there. Abraham, in his old age, has a child, miraculously, through his, uh, through his wife in her old age. If that wasn't miraculous enough, that a perfect boy could be given to a barren woman, years later, a sacrifice is required from the Lord. Let's read some of his story in Genesis chapter 22, uh, in verse 2. And he said, Now take thy son, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and give uh, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering up uh, offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham arose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and, clay, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and arose up, and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes, and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder to worship, and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering, and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand, and the knife, and they went both of them together. Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. In verse 9, And they came unto the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him, for now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thine son, thine only son, from me. Abraham in this story is tested by the Lord to see if he loved God more than his son. God asks for his son. We see the faith of Abraham to take his son up to sacrifice him. We also see the resemblance of our Lord and Savior as, the, as a lamb to the slaughter when Isaac was taken to be sacrificed. Isaac carried his own wood for the sacrifice on, on his own shoulders, which showed, that he, which showed his desire to make the sacrifice. Though he asked his father about what the sacrifice will be, which shows he didn't know he may have been suspicious. But Abraham was like our Father in heaven, who viewed the crucifixion as is described in Isaiah chapter 53. In verse 10 it says, Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Abraham was willing to kill his son because of his love for God, just as God is willing to kill Jesus because of his love for us. We see in this story the similitude, of, uh, the similitude to show the future sacrifice of the, Messiah, of the Messiah within the test the Lord gave Abraham. Then, the Lord ends this with yet another symbol in his story to show what, uh, to, uh, to show what all of, of that will mean to us. Let's look at that, continuing the story in Genesis 22, in verse 13. 
And Abraham lifted up his eyes and show and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked and beheld behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mountain of the Lord it shall be seen. Abraham lifted his eyes to see the ram, which is a substitute for his son's life. And he calls the place Jehovah Jireh. Now, the Jireh is a Hebrew word, pronounced Yaira, that means, um, that means to see, but it also has a connotation of provision. It is often translated as Jehovah will provide, but can also mean Jehovah will see. A name that means that God will see our life and provide for us. The ram in the thicket represents the Lord, seeing Isaac about to receive death to, fill, to fulfill all righteousness and then provides a substitute to fulfill all righteousness. It represents the Messiah taking on our sins upon him and taking the penalty upon himself so that we may be free, no longer bound by sin. So, to Abraham's obedience, the Lord God says, And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. God promises Abraham, promises Abraham that in his seed, through Abraham's lineage, the, blessings, the blessing to all nations would come. And surely the, the Lord that sees did provide that seed, the seed which is our, our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord has shown so much to us, the Messiah, even in the beginning, before Moses. And all, of, all the law that is yet again another shadow of the Messiah. All of these foreshadows and these prophecies have shown what our Savior would do before he came. In fact, Jesus said about the scriptures in John chapter 5, in verse 39, Search the scriptures, for in them ye think that ye have eternal life, and they are they that testify of me. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe in my words? Next time, I want to return to the Book of Mormon and talk about Jesus Christ. In preparation, I will invite you to ponder on what Jesus Christ means to you. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at brother3tyler at gmail.com. Also, check out the website, bomschallenge.org, um, and uh, enjoy some of my previous videos. Until next time.